Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of our daily hot sheets for Roswell, Georgia. And uh, we're going to take a look quickly at what the rates have been doing. And then I'm going to go into another chart and just show you kind of the average uh, and then we'll uh, the average uh, days on market and um, sales price. And then we'll go into what's been going on. OK, so today we're coming in at 6.74. 15 year fix is at six flat. And our FHA is at 6.15. We can get a jumbo at 6.98. 51 arm is at 6.21. And again, our VA is coming in at 6.15. So just remember this chart is always one that is interactive updates daily. And then you can click here to take that 6.74 and plug that in and see what it does to the payment. Of course, this is just doing a mortgage payment of uh, or a mortgage loan amount of 200,000, but it brings it up to 1296 with this current interest rate. So it's a fun thing to do. But when you come under here under uh, it's the perfect spot underneath your agent down to the blog, you'll find a more recent blog. And down here, what I've been trying to do is uh, include these charts that are going to show you interactively. You can kind of scroll and see on a month by month basis going all the way back here from January 2020. And it, right now, the numbers have not been finalized yet for December. So we're just still going through November, but you can kind of see what our average um, sales price is. That's what this first chart is. So here in all of Roswell, we're at 662 and um, just our zip code 30075, we're at 697. And if you come down here, these are our average days on market. And um, I've done all of Metro Atlanta also like I did above. Uh, so you can kind of compare that to our Roswell all of Roswell and then just our zip code. So our zip code is taking a little bit longer, more days on market, 26 days compared to all of Roswell at 21 days. And then all of the MLS, which is Metro Atlanta, it's taking 33 days. Okay, so now let's jump on over into the MLS. Let me make this picture smaller. And um, let's see what's been going on in the last, okay, 24 hours. We've got that set correct. So we've got no new listings, nothing fell out of contract, it came back on the market, no price decreases, no increases. We did have one go pending. We had one go on hold. We did have two that closed, yay, and four went under contract. That's always great. And only one um, that is coming soon. So we don't have enough new listings coming to the market. But let's take a look and see what this pending is. So it's one in Martin's Landing, and it's one that is offered at six hundred and sixty thousand on Ridge Point Close, six sixty. Some nice built-ins, pretty kitchen. It's been updated. Nice backsplashes there. Nice bathrooms have been updated. See, they virtually staged them to kind of show you. What it would look like okay so that one is now pending and pending is different it means at one point it was active under contract and it got through all of the due diligence and inspection period and it switched to hard pending so now let's see the one that went put on hold oh brassfield way brookfield i've sold one on this street here um so 2060 has been put on hold it's offered at 1.125 so currently on hold right now not sure why but we'll see what happens with that and then we did have two that closed. So let's check those out. One in um, Holcomb Crossing, those are um, townhomes in Coventry Down. That is Cobb County, but it's, um, let me just show you this. So, okay, so here is a little townhome. It's an end unit in Holcomb's Crossing that's real close to 400. Okay, and let's see what this closed for. It closed for 242. It was listed at, at 250 and um, the sellers contributed 4,000 towards the buyer's closing cost. So this is Centennial, but Mimosa. Uh, so it's on the, I think it's on this side of 400, but okay. So that is one that closed and here's the other one in Coventry down. So this is, uh, oh yeah, Lassiter High School District. So it's Roswell, but it's Cobb County. Uh, let's take a look at this. Okay, so this one went not just passed under contract, but now um, pending and it's actually closed. So it closed at 365 while it was listed at 385. So slightly under uh, what it was listed for and um, closed. Okay, so let's see what actively went under contract. So we had another one. Oh, this is that townhome. This is such a cute townhome. So it went back under contract. Okay, good. Crossville Station and Great Oaks. 
in Hillside also in Martin's Landing and then Roswell Farms. So let's check out. So we've got them ranging from 250 up to 520. So let's look at these. These first two are attached homes. So this is the Teal Court one. Super cute. They've had an offer before and it's such a cute townhome. So, or condo, I guess. So hopefully this one will pan out because I think this is such a cute one offered for uh, just under 250 and we'll see what that sells for when it actually closes. We'll keep an eye on that one. Um, here's one in Crossville Station. This is a great one. It's Roswell North, Crabapple Middle, and then Roswell High School. And uh, it's under contract. So it's got two bedrooms and one full bath up, and then a bedroom and bathroom uh, on the main with a half bath as well. Listed at 440. This is a great little one street uh, neighborhood. Nicely updated, really cute. Cute little courtyard area. Okay. And then let's see what else went under contract. So here's the Martin's Landing. So it's a um, single family home. I thought that I saw the dog head, but that's the design. I was thinking the dog. So we've got brown trim, some carpet. So little paint uh, and new carpet, new flooring would go a long way. It looks like they've got laminate counters in there. Um, can really make a big splash with a little budget in here and make it look really amazing. Nice nature in the back, very natural with the creek. So that's nice. So this was offered at 475. We'll again track that and see what it sells for. Roswell Farms. So it's uh, under contract. I think this came off the market and came back on uh, nope, I'm wrong. Sorry. It only took four days to get it under contract. So let's take a look at this one. So uh, two bedrooms and one bath on the main. And then in the basement, it's got uh, two more bedrooms and a bathroom. Oh, yeah, I do remember this one with the leaf uh, railing. Yeah. Okay, so that didn't take long for that one. So it was really neat. Uh, very natural setting. Okay, so that one went under contract, good for them. And then we've got one coming soon. So let me pull that one up and see what we have to look forward to. Oh, it's in Garrison Oaks, which is a lovely neighborhood. It's also uh, Roswell, but it's uh, East Cobb. So it's gonna be Lassiter High School District, Garrison Mill Elementary in Maybury. So this is offered or will be offered, 929. Looks like it's gonna come on the market on the 11th. So in just a couple of days, these are always lovely homes. Look at that backsplash behind the fireplace. That's a beautiful wall. Love that. What a pretty room. Very open. And they've got the cafe height, so it keeps it very open. Because before, we used to have that raised bar area going into the uh, family room or into the kitchen. And just having that cafe height really makes it open and connected. I just, I love this. Really pretty. In fact, I think I've got a buyer. I'm going to have to forward this to. This is beautiful. Trade ceilings in the bathrooms or bedrooms. I wish I should have said, oh, where is that? Uh, second family room with wine. Oh, okay. So this is on the main level. I was thinking maybe this was the basement. So you've got a little bar area uh, on the main level. That is great. Exercise and workout room. This has got to be the basement. It's not saying this. Kitchen featuring appliances. A second kitchen. In laundry, I'm really thinking this has got to be the basement. They're not saying this, but entry, isn't that pretty? What a lovely home. Oh, I love that screen porch, sunroom area. That's beautiful. Okay, so this will be on the market for $9.29 if you know anybody. Again, if there is anything that I can do, have a conversation with you, uh, talk to you about what's going on in your specific area of town or neighborhood, I would love to do that. I welcome a conversation and hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday's Daily Hot Sheet for Roswell, Georgia. Take care.